can we just start and talk about why is all of this happening? Why is it happening? I'm not going to point to any one of you, but why is this happening? Why is it happening today? Don't you think this needs to happen? Yeah. <laughs> this is completely left up to you, actually. Yeah. So you tell us why you think this needs to happen. So I think um, and when we all met, when three of us met, we all had one thing in common, which was, you know, we are entrepreneurs. Uh, when we started our journeys, we kind of struggled to get all the possible resources under one roof. Conferences, events, meetups where you can go and take back real content where speakers are talking about real stories, where they're just not showing the good things out there. They're actually talking about the failures, why they shut their businesses down, uh, why they couldn't hire the right co-founder co or team to scale their business, or uh, why uh, women do not take that next step. When they take sabbatical, why don't they start again or take it from where they left? So those were the questions I think we all were going through. And um, we've been lucky with the support to large extent that we've had. And we said, we outspoken. We have done this. Way too much. Yeah. So let's do it together. <laughs> so I think, yeah, that was the need. And that's where it started. I think when we all met, um, we all come from, um, you know, we have, uh, we're, we're coming from, we've, we've got great education, we've got a great exposure, we've traveled the world, and we come back into the conference room, and when, when we three met, we're discussing the same problems over and over again. Um, uh, you know, uh, hiring people, working with the right people, always proving yourself, uh, at every step, uh, working harder to prove yourself, um, whether it's valuing your company or whether it's uh, handling a bigger team or proving to your investor, um, you, we, we were still stuck with the same challenges. And when we, when we started discussing, we saw that it all comes down to gender. And um, we all, in a way, were rebelling against so many things and we didn't even realize it so from there we said okay let's create this platform where we're just talking about how women are rebelling and it's great to rebel and it's um absolutely amazing and the right thing to do that you're uh, you have a voice and you're speaking up and um you know let people say whatever they want but what you're doing is great so we wanted that to happen in India first. And we wanted to give uh, girls, women, a platform. And we wanted everyone to hear what, what girls have to really say, how they really struggle having authentic conversations right on stage so that it actually helps people. Say someone wants to start a business here. Someone wants to start working again at 50 here. Why not? You know, there are people doing it and we have them here for you. So you talked about the why. Can you also talk a little bit about what is this about three Delhi women coming together? And why, why is it Delhi women? Because yeah. you all of you all are from Delhi. You started off in Delhi, right? In a way. In a way. Yeah. Sort of in a way. And you're here in Bombay. Why why did it happen in Bombay? Why is it not happening in Delhi or Bangalore? So could you talk to us a little bit about what sort of thoughts went into putting an event? So it up. was a struggle, actually. Uh, we went back and forth, Delhi, Bangalore. We went to Pune for a bit, uh, in our heads. Uh, <laughs> but then we went back to Delhi. But then I think Bombay is a better platform for even us to kind of see uh, how uh, somebody responds, like how our target audience responds to uh, our concept. Uh, it's more, uh, I think Bombay is more open to such ideas than in Delhi. We are doing this. Uh, so we need, we all need something like this. Uh, we haven't, we actually spoke about this. We were hoping for somebody else to kind of start or even do something similar, but it never happened. Uh, we've gone to like a lot of shows. Uh, she's talked uh, at a lot of panels, so has she. But we've actually never experienced something like this so well, I haven't seen voila. something like this right there you go. but is this you getting out of your comfort zone to do something like this in Bombay Definitely. rather than that so why did you want to do it then in, in I know you explained 
So it's Those all reasons. the hard work. We didn't want okay. to be like, uh, we are from Delhi, so that's our hometown. We can like set up whatever we, you know how it is. Like you're from your hometown, it's easier. The struggle is real here. We have actually kind of put in our time, effort, even though we had like our jobs, uh, our businesses, yeah, but we are we're here. working full time. Yeah, we're working also full time, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so just to add to what Manat said, uh, Roar is just uh, beginning with Bombay. We are taking this further to other cities as well. We have Delhi, Bangalore, all of these cities on our cards coming forward. But uh, we wanted to start from Bombay specifically because you know, there's such great women out here. We did some dry runs by meeting people, meeting women entrepreneurs. As she mentioned, we keep attending these conferences and most of them happen to be from Bombay. And we said we want to make most of it and reach to the right audience in the first uh, show itself. And then, you know what, Bombay has all of these great speakers and talents as well. So, yeah. Okay, it's 2019. Are there particular conversations you think Roar should have or that Roar is going to start in 2019 that's relevant to 2019? I think Roar, um, the, the very first conversation which we are having is about choosing what you want to do. And as basic as it sounds, uh, we're saying do your thing uh, as the first chapter because the moment you um, want to do something different, uh, you you might have a lot of doubts and questions in your head and um, you have to go beyond that and sort of just go ahead and execute and do what you genuinely feel is right. And as whimsical as this sounds, um, we have uh, women here who will come on stage and who will talk about the experiences that, no, I've, I've gone beyond and I've followed my heart and I've I'm successful. So um, Roar is about, we are going to talk about breaking a lot of myths, starting with uh, doing your thing. Just do your thing. Okay, do your thing. Okay. For me, it's like feeling uh, of belonging to a community, a place. Uh, it could have any gender uh, involved in that, but it's just a feeling of like belonging. That's it for me. I think Roar is possibilities for me, uh, where everyone comes together, finds the opportunities where they can collaborate, learn, network, um, just meet new people so that they can excel together and keep growing and keep doing their thing. That's Roar for you. Well, Roar for me is uh, rebelling, definitely, and doing it in a legit way. <laughs> So yeah, rebelling in a legit way. Yes, thank you so much.